What's going on everybody? Tom here with Keto Lifestyle and today we're going to be making a keto friendly hot pocket. Now in this video I'm going to be making a pepperoni and cheese one as well as a Philly cheesesteak one and this is also going to be a nut free recipe because the dough we're using is essentially a fat head dough so feel free to use whatever fat head dough you like or try mine but I have some friends of mine that are allergic to nuts and I've been trying to adapt recipes to fit those people for a while. So the fat head dough we're going to be making today actually is going to consist of around one to two ounces of cream cheese, depending on how sticky you want your dough. One and a half cups of shred shredded mozzarella cheese, two eggs, and then around a third cup of coconut flour. Now if you're using almond flour, you may want to do about two thirds cup, but again, you can find recipes for other fat head doughs online. This is just my nut free variety. So step one of making this dough, if you've never done it before, is we're gonna go ahead and put one and a half cups of mozzarella, and two ounces of Philadelphia's cream cheese. In this bowl right here, and microwave it until it's melting. I usually say between 60 and 90 seconds is good. Now that those cheeses are melted and mixed together, you're gonna to wanna to add your two eggs and your one third cup of coconut flour. Now what you have to remember here is those, if they're cold, are going to warm up your dough, which means you may have to microwave it for another 30 seconds, but be careful not to go too long because you'll start to cook the eggs. If you use room temperature coconut flour and eggs, you should be able to mix it right in, but again, if it gets a little tough on you, feel free to stick it back in the microwave again for 15, 20 seconds to get everything mixed in well. So now your dough should look something like this. It should be pretty, uh, it should be slightly sticky, but not like getting stuck to your hands. And then we're gonna go ahead and break it into four pieces. So you're gonna make four hot pockets out of this. So I kind of just break it in half and then break it in half again. And that'll give us our four chunks. Then you wanna roll this out on a cookie sheet that is lined with parchment paper. So once you have your dough rolled out, you're gonna go ahead and place your stuffings on top of it, but you wanna make sure you have enough room to fold it over when you're done. So once your toppings are put in there, you're gonna kinda of fold it over and then flip it and press it down so that everything seals. For the one I'm gonna show you right now, we're just gonna go ahead and put pepperoni and cheese, a little bit of tomato sauce and some pizza seasoning in there. And then the next one I'm gonna make for me is going to be a Philly cheesesteak where it's going to be roast beef and cheese. So I have all four of my Hot Pockets stuffed and ready to go. I've got the oven preheated to 425. But just wanted to mention to you guys, if you run into an issue when you're trying to stuff them where the dough becomes really brittle and kind of breaks, the best thing you can do is take that little chunk that you're working with, just stick it in the microwave for about 15 seconds, and then it'll roll out super smooth again. You don't want to do this too many times, so just microwave what you're using. But now that everything's here, we're gonna stick it in the oven at 425 until it's golden brown. That should be about 15 minutes, but keep an eye on it. Depending on how thick you rolled your dough, it could be a little bit different for you. Now these things just beep, so it's been 15 minutes and they look good to go. One thing that I forgot to mention to you guys is you're gonna to wanna to take a knife and kinda of stab through the top layer of dough before you put them in the oven, otherwise they're gonna explode out the bottom. So let's go ahead and get mine out of the oven now.
There they are. You can tell they're a nice golden brown color. Um, some of mine did leak a little bit because I didn't get them sealed very well, but the tighter you seal them, the less leakage you'll get. But you're going to get some, and it's perfectly normal. All right, guys, so we're back, and I've let these things cool for about 10 minutes. They're not going to burn my mouth. Here is a finished product. You can tell they look pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste test and see how it goes. Still a little bit warm, so maybe let them cool for 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna show you the inside here real quick. They do look really delicious. They taste really delicious. Because I am using a nut-free dough, you do get a little bit of a coconut flavor, but it's not unpleasant. I really do enjoy these, and they're great to make ahead of time and meal prep, and then just kind of heat them up for lunch. Now, as always, the recipe and macros are going to be in the description. Now, the macros are going to vary a little bit depending upon what you fill yours with, so I'm just going to make them for the way that I have on screen, but you can adjust it yourself. With that, I'm going to close the video. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, because it really does help me out a lot. If you like the video, leave it a like, and if you have any questions or comments on this recipe, leave it in the comment section. With that, I'll see you guys in the next one.